All right, well, I'll try to keep it brief. I've been doing this for a long time in the entertainment industry. I started as a production designer on feature films and TV series and commercials, and I found that I was really missing drawing. I really wanted to get back to drawing every day. So that's when I started getting into storyboarding, and I was trained at Storyboards, Inc. out in Los Angeles, and they started placing me on projects, and I was actually designing uh, all the sets on an old HBO series called First and Ten, and that's where I landed my first series. I went to the executive producer, showed him some samples I had done, and started doing all their storyboarding work on that. Since that point, I've now storyboarded on over 2,500 productions. I own the largest storyboard house in the southern United States. I also wrote the main book in the industry called Storyboards Motion and Art. The third edition is out now. I lecture all over the world on storyboarding and animation production, as well as a number of other things dealing with the entertainment industry. I also write monthly articles for Animation World Network at awn.com, and I write for Animation Magazine. I've also written for Cinefix, Movie Maker, Student Filmmaker. I'm very, very heavy in the industry on education and helping people, training people in different things. I love sharing what I do. Uh, I can't tell you how much fun storyboarding is. And it's been over 20 years I've been working in the, this industry. I have no intentions on stopping. It's just, it's a great way to wake up and a great thing to do every day. Well, the, the, the way I wrote this book is different than most other storyboard books that you'll find. It's, first of all, it's by far the biggest. You'll get a workout when you lift it. But it's, I cover the art of storyboarding in every aspect, how to work with directors, how to make better boards, tricks of the trade, all that kind of stuff. I also talk about the, uh, there's a whole section on the business of storyboarding, how you charge, how you get started, how you find the jobs, who you work for, all those types of things. It's got exercises in it. It's got samples. It's got over a thousand samples in it uh, from all artists all over the world. It's not, not just my work. It's all different styles. There's a lot of really great elements in there. Literally everything you need to know is in this book. Being now it's the third edition, I have put everything I can think of in there. So it'll help you whether you're a seasoned pro or a beginner. It, there's something in there for everybody. Well, that's the biggest thing that's changing all the time. You know, I, had, I had reviewed some different storyboarding softwares, uh, none of which I, I really liked. I, I wasn't happy with the way any of them were really working. And uh, your Storyboard Pro software came out after I had written the book. And I've got to tell you, we're, I started using it instantly. In fact, I, I was training one of my artists just last week on it. And within the first half hour, he, he looked over at me with a huge grin on his face and said, man, this rocks. And it, and it does. I mean, it's by far the best software I've ever used, and it's so fast and easy. And in fact, I'm setting up a feature film I'm working on right now where we're doing all the pitching and all the storyboarding on it. It's so fast and easy to, uh, to learn. There's a lot of things, the more you get into it, there's obviously, like any software, there's, there's a lot of depth to it that you can get into. But the basics of getting in it, and it's so intuitive on click and drag, uh, saves a tremendous amount of time. In fact, you know, any storyboard artist who's working digitally, which all of them eventually are going to be working digitally, it just, there's no way around it. In fact, I've never even met half of my clients. So those who aren't into it yet understand that I'm being hired long distance. I don't go to locations half the time anymore. I talk over the phone. I email back and forth with, with the directors and producers. So you're either drawing on paper and scanning and putting everything together and adding the text and whatnot and then making a PDF file and sending it to the director. Or you're drawing directly and usually it's in Photoshop, which is a lot of people are using. What I found that your software is saving me a tremendous amount of time. So if, I, if there's changes, especially like this last movie I just worked on, the director's making changes, adding shots. I just add the shot right where it needs, all the numbering updates. It's, it's incredible and I can export directly out to PDF saving me three steps that I don't have to do in Photoshop anymore. Well, especially now that we have these Cintiqs to work with, being able to draw directly on the surface gets rid of the biggest problem that a lot of artists had with not wanting to work on the tablets that are separate from the screen. Because that, that's a disconnect that you can be trained to do it, but it's difficult. But now, since I can draw directly on the screen here, it's just like drawing on paper, except I can change, effect, you know, I'll be drawing something and realize, well, you know, the head's in the wrong position or I want the eyes bigger. Well, I just select them, make them bigger. I mean, it's digitally making changes. Anytime a client wants, it's so fast and easy to do. And numbering is always an issue if the client, if the director keeps changing where things go, instead of going through my entire sequence and hand renumbering everything and, and, and cutting and pasting and replacing things on the paper, here, it happens automatically when I go to the export, so it's saving me a lot of time. And, and here's the benefits of saving time. I make more money because uh, on commercial jobs in particular, I charge by the drawing. 
So if I can get the same amount of work done in two less hours, I'm making a lot more per hour. It also means that I'm now able to spend more time with my family because anyone who's doing this for a living understands that we work a tremendous amount of hours on these things. I mean, we work through the night all the time. So anytime I can save a couple hours, that's huge for me. And this is especially at the end when you're delivering. Now with one click and I can make a PDF and send it off to the client, it's awesome. Yeah, that's uh, the, the cutting and pasting, whether I'm, uh, I'm on paper or if I'm in Photoshop, we usually draw it where it's three panels to a sheet. And if the director said, well, can we add something in here? Well, then I'm cutting off those lower two panels, pasting the top one onto a new sheet, drawing new things underneath, re going through and renumbering everything. Well, that takes some time. In your software here, literally all I do is I will take a panel, I will drag it into a new position, and I'm done. Renumbering is happening, it's in a new position. When I export it out, it's in the right position. I don't know about you, but dragging something over like I just showed you, that literally would take me anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes to do if I was doing it traditionally or even in Photoshop. There's a couple things that have changed. One, how quickly I can get things done working with a client and, and providing them with, because we're always providing PDF files now uh, for clients, which helps them. And, and the reason we want to do that is traditionally we would send them individual pages of every storyboard, but then for them to print it out on their end, they have to open up every page of print, open a page and print. You send them a PDF, single print, they get the entire thing. They love it, I'm providing a better service for them. But the other thing that's really happening, for instance on this movie, this is a movie about the Big Bopper that I was just, uh, just working on uh, just a couple weeks ago. And in this one, we've got music video elements and the, the director is using my storyboards to pitch and raise the final funding for the movie. Well, investors don't understand looking at storyboard. They can't get a feel for the flow, but they do with an animatic. So now I can, I, I'm able to give him an animatic as I'm working. And it's literally real time. But not only is he able to use this to now raise the funding, which we're doing at the moment, and it's working beautifully. I just talked to him last week. They had a big party. They showed the movie from, uh, that I had produced using your software. And he said, everyone got it. They understood it. They loved it. But it also, when we're doing this music video, there's time and, and there's a pacing that you want to go through. Well, the director had done a breakdown prior, prior to he and I sitting down of the shots that he wanted. But once we put those shots in with the music, he realized, well, he needed a lot more shots. So now, by being able to run the audio and storyboard to it, the boards are a lot more accurate and he's able to plan for his shots much better than he ever could have without it because he didn't realize how much more he really needed.